Hey, hello guys. So, welcome to another session of this phenomenal physics series where we were discussing vectors. So, last class we have already learned how to find out the angle between two vectors, right? By using the dot product or cross product, better to go for the dot product method. And we have already learned the resultant of two, three, or any number of vectors. What is the result? Now, basically, what we have learned suppose first I take two vectors, a vector plus b vector equals to suppose the resultant so r is the resultant vector right resultant of a vector and b vector now suppose r is given suppose a vector is given in a reference frame or a coordinate system so this is a coordinate system suppose in that a vector is given right so suppose this is our r vector now you are told to find out these two vectors on adding them we will get r vector this method is called resolution of vectors finding out any two vectors in which which will result in the r vector now that is has infinite number of possibilities correct now because this r vector i can add these two vectors by triangular law i can add these two vectors by triangular law i can add these two vectors by triangular law so there are infinite number of ways of resolving a vector infinite ways of resolving a vector into two vectors okay but now to restrict it suppose we are told that this is the resultant vector r right and you have to find out such two components which are along this direction and this direction so the directions are specified suppose how to specify the direction that is a cap and b cap so you are told to resolve the resultant vector or r vector along these two directions then what to do then you have to do the simple thing so along these two directions what will be the two vectors this will be a vector and this will be b vector right because addition of a and b by triangular law gives you is a plus b right now what are these a vector and b vector so what are the inputs means already given given thing is a cap b cap and r vector we have to find what is a vector and b vector how to do that so first we have to find out the angle between them theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 in the previous class we have already learned that right how to find the angle between r vector and a cap cos of theta 1 will be what r vector dot a cap by modulus of r modulus of a cap that will be 1 right this will turn to 1 so this way you can get theta 1 similarly cos of theta 2 will be r vector dot b cap by modulus of r again because of modulus of b cap is 1 and theta 3 you can find out simply by the law that sum of internal angles of a triangle is 180 degree this will be in degrees or in radians it will be pi minus theta 1 minus theta 2 okay whatever it is so now you know all the three angles theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 now to finding finding out the two vectors a vector and b vector it means for a vector we have to know what magnitude and direction right direction we already know in which direction we want the two vectors a cap and b cap so what extra we have to find out we have to find out the magnitude right So for this, we'll use one more thing called of trigonometry. 
let me know, name the three vertex of this triangle A, B and C. So we'll apply sine rule, sine rule in triangle A, B, C. What does sine rule say? That length of one side, suppose length of AB, that is modulus of a vector. Length of AB means what? Magnitude of a vector, right? Divided by the sine of the opposite angle to that side, that is theta 2, will be equal to the other side, that is BC. Length of BC will be modulus of B vector divided by sine of the opposite angle. That is sine of theta 1 equals to modulus of r vector by sine of the opposite angle theta 3. So all the angles we know, right? Theta 2, theta 1, theta 3 and r we know. So we have two equations. We have two unknowns, a vector and b vector moduluses. Then we can easily know what is a vector and what is b vector. Correct. So this way of finding out the two components of vector is called oblique resolution oblique resolution of a vector okay because this is the more general method of resolving a vector into two components what are the components a vector finally you will get as modulus of a you are able to find out from that equation multiply with the already given input a cap and b vector is the another component modulus of b vector into its direction unit vector b cap over so these are the two component vectors adding these two will result in our r vector now here one problem is many of them they don't tell you this way of doing they generally tell you one thing that is called perpendicular resolution or orthogonal resolution of vectors now that is not a very general way of doing it what they tell you? Let me show. You must have seen this thing. This is one vector. Correct. So resolution of two vectors. They tell you that if this is R vector, how to resolve? This is A vector. Or sometimes they say AX vector. Along X axis. And they say along b vector or a y whatever you can name it so adding these two vectors you will get this r vector correct and this is 90 degree that's why it is orthogonal resolution and the problem with this is they directly tell you that if this angle is theta again you can find out this theta then a vector they will tell you it as modulus of a will be modulus of r cos of theta correct and then modulus of b vector will be modulus of r sine of theta and they say this as a resolution of the vector along two into two components but these are orthogonal this is orthogonal resolution that is resolving into two perpendicular components but this is not the most general method the more general method is what we have learned this that is oblique resolution actually from here you can go to orthogonal resolution how orthogonal resolution is what when theta 3 is 90 degree right when theta 3 is 90 degree so over here when theta 3 is 90 degree you can easily get that is modulus of a by so what was there theta 1 theta 2 and this was theta 3 right modulus of a by sine of theta 2 equals to modulus of r theta 1 was specified as theta then only we wrote these two no? hmm. modulus of r 
by sine of theta 3. Right. Now what is theta 3? 90 degree. Right. 90 degree. The theta 2 is 90 minus theta. And theta 1 is theta. Just put these three things into whatever we have learned. You will easily get the same result. Okay. So sine theta 3 turns out to be 1. And theta 2 is 90 minus theta. So modulus of A becomes modulus of R sine 90 minus theta and that itself is modulus of R cos of theta okay which gives you this result similarly modulus of B you will get as modulus of R sine of theta so although on a resolution one thing I want to tell you is not the most general form of resolution the more general form of resolution is oblique resolution so what did you understand about resolution? Resolution means if this is one vector, our vector, we need to find out number of ways in which two vectors adding up will give up this R vector, right? And that can be in a variety of possible ways. Any two vectors can be, this can be a vector zero. These two addition can also give R vector by triangle method, right? And when it is specified any direction, in these two directions then you will get a specific set of vectors that is a specific a vector and a specific b, b vector you can get once the direction is specified that you need to find out two components only along these two directions then you will get a specific result otherwise there are infinite number of possibilities of resolving a vector into number two number of components okay and also resolving vectors can be into a multiple number of components also that is three suppose 3 or 4 correct find out a vector b vector c vector adding up which will give a vector now that will be more and more complex until the directions are specified you will not get a single set of results okay so again you go back into geometry only but that will yield you infinite number of results so better to stick uh, till this je level syllabus they give you more and more of this two component resolutions that is an orthogonal resolution is very simple and it is one of the more specific forms of this oblique resolution right so okay guys so this was enough about resolution of vectors okay i hope you have understood about what i was talking about next i will make one more video regarding this magnitude properties what are the properties of this magnitude right so everything I'll specify about that okay and uh, practice more and more problems regarding this resolution okay practice that is one thing you have to do more and more on your own okay and if you like the content of this video please give the thumbs up and like and to share also correct so that other people also get helped and you can help me in building this community of education and uh, if you want to get notified every time any video is posted please subscribe to our channel okay that is ESTI click the red button that is there and beside it there is one bell icon you can place there then you will directly get notified every time I'm posting the video okay a mail or something will come to you that I have posted the video and you can directly come and check it okay guys so keep loving and enjoying physics till then bye bye